Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I've got some more tips and tricks you can use for your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. This is part two to the original video. You can watch the original video right here for tons of tips and tricks. But today I've got a fresh new batch of tips. So let's get started. To kick things off, let's open up our camera app and go through some camera tips and tricks. The first one being setting up a fixed focus area. So traditionally when you tap, it'll focus on that specific area you'd like to focus on. But if you move your phone around a little bit, it's going to use its autofocus feature. So to set up a fixed focus, what you want to do is tap and hold on the specific area you'd like to focus on. You'll see it says autofocus lock up top and that'll be your focus area. So even if you move the phone around, it's not going to move that focus area. The next tip allows you to control the exposure of your photo. So first off, tap to focus on a specific area or use the fixed focus feature. And right beside the focus box, you'll notice a little sun. And if you scroll downwards, you'll darken the picture. And if you scroll upwards, you'll brighten the picture. And you can customize this depending on the setting of your photo. To return to the default exposure, just simply tap to focus in another area. The next tip, we'll move to the video section here. And when you do take a video, so for example, we'll hit the video button here. If you want to take a photo while you're filming a video, you would just tap this little button here and it'll go ahead and take those photos. The next tip is really cool and I use it a lot and I think it should have been enabled by default. What it does is create a zoom box or almost like a magnifying glass box. So to access this, we'll open our settings application. We'll tap on general and we'll tap on accessibility. Then you want to tap on zoom and we'll swipe to turn that on. Now the way this works is fairly simple. So anytime, anywhere on your iPhone, what you would do is double tap with three fingers and it'll bring up this zoom box. Now it'll be zooming in in the middle by default so it'll zoom anything you're looking at, whether it's maps, your emails, your application page, and you can move it around by using this bottom section here and zooming in on all the different sections. Now if you'd like to take this zoom away, again it's just a three finger double tap away from that zoom box. For the next tip, I'm going to show you how to trim clips. And this is great for trimming the beginning of videos and the end of videos where you're pressing record and kind of shaky or trying to stop the recording. So what you would do is open up the video in your photos application. And this is one that I took a little while ago. And what you can do is just simply trim it from the end or from the beginning and sort of change up the video length and make it smaller or even take out those beginning and ending pieces that aren't so good. Once you've selected the area you'd like to trim, you can tap trim up top and then you can say trim original or save as a new clip. So if you save it as a new clip, you're going to have both the original video and the new clip saved. I'm going to do that. If you'd like to just overwrite the original, it'll go ahead and delete that. And at the bottom, you'll see it says trimming video. And depending on how much you trim and how big the video is, it'll take that amount of time. Once it's completed, if you move back to your videos album here, you'll notice that I have the original video at 356 and the new trimmed video at 248. For the next tip, I'm going to show you how to send a call to voicemail. So we'll focus on the sleep slash wake button or power button on the right side of your iPhone. Now traditionally, when you receive a call, if you'd like to silence the ringer, you can press that button once. But if you want to send that caller to voicemail, what you would do is double click on the power button and it'll automatically do so. The next tip will allow you to make the text larger. So we'll open up our settings application. We'll tap on general and then we'll tap accessibility right here. Now from here, what you do is tap on larger text and you'll be able to use the slider to make the text larger or smaller, depending on how you would like it to look. The next tip is going to allow you to set a timer for your music. So if you like to fall asleep to music or just like the music to stop at a specific time, you can do so by opening up the clock application tapping on timer at the bottom right, and then setting a timer for your music. So we'll set it to just an hour. So the way this works is very simple. First, you just have your music playing in the background, and then you set a timer like so, then tap on when it ends here, scroll all the way to the bottom where it says stop playing, select that, set that, and then in that hour or whatever time you set up, the music will stop playing. 
For the next tip, we're gonna open up our calendars application here, and specifically, we're gonna look at the section that shows you the, all the different hours of your day. Now, when you first open it up, it'll be very close together, and if you'd like to see it in a wider angle, what you do is just simply pinch and zoom it out. Now, this will be great if you've got a lot of different events starting or ending at the same time. Maybe you've got all the different pills you have to take at a certain time. Not sure, but this is a feature that not a lot of people have brought to the front here. So if that's something that you may find useful, I'm glad it's here for you. For the next tip, we're going to look at the notification center and how to organize it. So if you scroll all the way down in your today section and tap edit, you'll be able to organize all the different widgets that you have in your notification center. So you can add them down here just by tapping on the add button and it'll add it up top and you can organize them just by dragging up and down like so. Now I did a full tutorial on the notification center with some cool widgets that you can check out to make it a little bit more useful for you. There will be a link in the description as well as somewhere on the top of the screen here. So check that out if you're interested. For this next tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up a dictionary and how to define words quickly without having to move away from the page you're on. Now this will work anywhere on the iPhone as long as you can highlight the specific word. So for this example, we will highlight prosperous right here. So we'll tap and hold. Once you've highlighted it, you'll have a option where you can select define. We'll tap define and it'll bring up the definition. Now if you don't see any definition or it says cannot be found or something, tap on manage at the bottom here and you'll be able to download any one of these dictionaries in whatever language. You can use the Apple dictionary. I'm using the American English. So you can choose the one you want, simply download it. And then once it's completed, you'll be able to get the definition and you'll be able to do this in any section of your iPhone. For the next tip, we're going to focus on Spotlight and how useful it is now, especially with its ability to pretty much search for anything, not just applications on your phone and not just contacts and things like that. So we'll go ahead and search movies here. We'll type in movies. So when I type in movies, you see that we have Crackle, a movie site application that you can watch movies, suggested websites, you've got map sections, you've got messages from people that sent messages that involved movies, you have Bing searches, you can search movies and find them anywhere on the internet, you can even search Wikipedia at the bottom. So there's a lot more that you can do with Spotlight Search and I find it really useful, especially when you have a lot of applications on your iOS device and they're in folders, just typing in the application in the Spotlight Search is much quicker than searching through the folders. Anyway guys, that is it. If you'd like to see more videos on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, there's a full video series. You can check that out on my channel. Also, the original video for the iPhone tips and tricks is in the description down below. You can check that out and get more tips and tricks for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box down below. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.